AP Calculus AB. I'll tell you later why I don't like Mr. Barron's, but uh, we're supposed to find, we're supposed to verify the solution to the differential equation. Here's the solution that's offered to us, and here's the differential equation. And the reason that I have this Y in yellow is because I'm trying to show the pieces that I have and the pieces that I need to make. I already have Y as this, and this Y is this one. What I need to do is find the deri first derivative of this, which would be Y prime, wouldn't it? And then put it here and see if all of this, when I put it together, equals that side. So here we, here we go. Let's try to take the derivative here. So I'm going to try to take the derivative of this piece right here, right now. So I'm just going to gather my pieces and say that, right, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the product rule. So f of x is equal to sine x. f prime at x is equal to cosine x, isn't it? Cosine x. Now I'm going to do this piece. I'm going to call it cosine g of x, if you don't mind. So g of x is equal to cosine x. If you can do this without building this list, it's fine with me. I tend to make mistakes anyway. So the first derivative of cosine x is opposite sine x. Stated before, when I, before I had this thing all the way screwed up, that all I'm building at this very moment is the derivative of this piece right here. Okay? So having said that, look, here's the y prime. I'm, I'm looking for this y prime, and it's this y prime is equal to this. So I'm going to have f of x is sine x. g prime at x is opposite sine x. Plus, this is product rule, right? Plus cosine x times cosine x. Right? Right, because I have g of x times the derivative of f of x, and they both happen to be this, right? Now, if you'll just pay attention for a second, because I want to show you what I'm going to go ahead and do. See this negative sign right here, Caitlin? It's this one, all right? So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to differentiate. I've already used all this crap right here. I'm going to differentiate this piece here, all right? This is crucial, minus Strauss, that you know that cosine squared x means cosine x times what? times cosine x. Because now take this out, I have f of x is equal to cosine x. f prime at x is equal to opposite sine x. I know this is weird, but g of x, my second function, is also what? Cosine x. Time and f prime, um, g prime at x? Opposite sine x, right? Good job. Yeah, yeah. Opposite sine x. Say that again? Absolutely not, right? We have two functions, but they happen to be the same function. So the first function is cosine x, so f of x. The first derivative of, of cosine x is opposite sine x. The second function, as weird as it is, is g of x, isn't it? But it happens to be the same function, right? So as I go ahead and build this, now I'm going to put my pieces in here, if you don't mind. Hopefully you wrote yours down, but I have mine gathered up here is this, right? It's going to be, it's going to be cosine x, right, times opposite sine x, right, plus, plus what? Co good job, yeah, cosine x times opposite sine x, right? Remember, everybody with me? Holy crap, got the wrong thing. Right? This, the derivative of that is this thing. All right? So we're kind of differentiating by parts here. So I'm just going to keep doing my work here. Right? We have sine of x times negative sine x is negative sine squared x, isn't it? plus 2 cosine x cosine x times negative sine x is negative sine x cosine x isn't it if i do this one over here davy same thing isn't it so i'm going to get negative 2 cosine x sine x aren't i davy can you see it yes or, or you know what some of you are going yeah, you don't want it that yeah 
Where are you? Oh, here. Good job. Yes, perfect. Thank you. That's good. Right? God, he's right again. He's, that's twice, Mr. Tan, you've been right today? No, just once. Just once? Okay. That's still a lot better than normal, so that's cool. Good for you. Right? Sine X, cosine X. This negative sign, the strem, and this negative sign make it positive, don't they? So we have two sine X, cosine X. This is a, this is a special trig. It's called the double angles formula. And we know that if you have this, what you really have is sine of 2x. I'm not asking you to buy that. I'm telling you that's true, and you're just going to have to take it. Deal? Check this out for a second. More calculus here. This negative sign right here is this one. Sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x, isn't it? For a trig identity, plus cosine. Anybody, everybody see why I'm doing this? Right? You could have converted it either way, I guess. I went this way, but I wanted to at least put these pieces together, didn't you? So here, then, we, if we put this through, we'll get, look at it. We'll get negative and positive here, won't we? We'll get negative 1 plus what? Yeah, 2 cosine squared x, don't we? plus sine, sine of 2x here, is equal to what? Is equal to what? Really? Damn right, y prime. Because that's, remember, that's what we're, we're digging for, right? We had all the pieces we needed, and now we have to go back and plug all this junk in, right? So we have to go back and remember that our search was to prove that 2y plus y prime is equal to 2 sine 2x minus 1. <clears throat> we getting there yet? Anybody still there? Still with me? 2. Y was sine x, cosine x. The president. Mr. Obama, I'll have to call you later. So 2 sine x, cosine x. Why is that funny? You think nobody will believe it's the president calling me? Is that what you're kind of trying to say? Yes? If this wasn't being taped, I'd tell you something, but I'm just going to leave it and let it go. Right? So this is 2y, isn't it? Right? And it says plus y prime. y prime is this crap here. So negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared x. plus sine of 2x. Holy crap. Right? This is just a positive sign, isn't it? So can we just drop that and make this negative here? Right? Because if we took that positive sign here and distributed it all the way through, it wouldn't change anything, would it? Right? Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna remember that we had a right side, right? But I'm just going to turn this into a left side, left hand proof. It's going to turn into a left side proof. Is that okay? So... 2 sine x cosine x minus 2 cosine squared x minus 1 plus 2 cosine squared x plus sine 2 x. That's just our left hand side, isn't it? Elsa still good, right? Okay. Go through here. Check this out. What is sine? What is sine x? What is 2 sine x cosine x? Right, double angles formula, right? So that gives us sine 2x, doesn't it? Look, negative cosine squared x. Negative, I'm sorry, negative 2 cosine squared x, right? Positive 2 cosine squared x, yes? Plus this one here, this plus sine 2x minus 1. What does all this crap equal? 2 sine 2 x's, right? Minus 1. And now we can go back and, and just drop our right hand side in. And our right hand side was and is 2 sine 2 x minus 1. 
Really? Nothing? Flipping brilliant is what that was.